Wodjo Wodjo and Danaga. In that time I was taught about family, family traditions and customs, about traditional society and traditional law, how to speak my father's language, the Gopa Yalanji language, and then all about our art and the dance and the music. Just quickly, hands up. Who in the room has had a go trying to blow a didgeridoo? Hands up. Don't be shy. <clears throat> a couple of us. Hands up who's never had a go. Never in your life. Excellent. Hands up if you just don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to show you all how to play didgeridoo. At the end of the show, you're all welcome to have a go on the didgeridoos at the front of the shop. Playing didgeridoo is not that difficult. It is just your lips vibrating. That's all it is. Everyone do this. Excellent. That'll give you this. Everyone do this. Well done. That'll give you this. Now everyone take the biggest breath you can take. Fill your lungs with air. And do this. All together. Here we go, have a listen. It's lips vibrating. Get the didgeridoo to work. Your tongue in your stomach is responsible for rhythm and your tongue in your voice generates all the vocal sounds. Traditionally, it is our language that generates all of our rhythms. By saying words or singing song through the didgeridoo, that is how we can, that's how we create 100% of all of our traditional rhythms. For example, something very basic. Everyone say didoba. Yeah. The word didawa means it moves. It talks about something moving, anything moving, an animal moving, a person moving, leaves <coughs> that are blowing in the wind, anything with movement, didawa, it moves. If I say didawa through the didgeridoo, so you say the word over and over again, just you're singing that into the didgeridoo, you get this. Tongue and voice mimic the animals. The kangaroo, your lips vibrate. Your tongue says two words. Everyone say, door, door, door. It's very easy. Everyone say, dill, dill, dill. Dil, dil, dil. Now say it with your lips vibrating. Have a listen. All together. <laughs> Well done, here we go, have a listen. The next one, the dingo, it's voice. And did we do? that you'll hear me use through the next piece of music. Behind me, you'll get some beautiful images from the top of the Northern Territory, <coughs> Darwin, and through the Gakuru National Park. You'll get four animals come up on the screen. As they come up, I will point them out and put their sound through the didgeridoo. Then as the story progresses, I'll use my hand to guide you through one of the very first dances we teach our children when they learn to dance. This is a story that comes from the top of northern Queensland where all my father's family are. 
The story that comes from the Gopa Yalanje people. Everyone say Gopo. Everyone say Yalanje. Now say Gopa Yalanje. Gopa Yalanje is a tribe of people my father's family come from. This story here is all about the kookaburra and its beautiful laugh. Is there anyone in the room that does not know what a kookaburra is? Hands up if you don't know. Be honest, please. Alright, for those that are unsure, the kookaburra is from the kingfisher family of birds. It is the largest of the kingfisher birds found here in Australia. It's only about this big, but it's very famous for its beautiful laugh. Can someone in the room make the sound of a kookaburra for me? Anyone, come on, it's so dark, no one can see you, don't be embarrassed. Anyone? Alright, everyone try this. Everyone say Duka. Daka. Now with a high voice, everyone say Duka. Duka. Daka. Daka. As fast as you can. Have a listen. Everyone have a go at that. Our people believe the kookaburra got given its laugh to watch out over all the other animals in the rainforest. Kangaroos feed along the edges of the rivers. One problem, living in the rivers in the top of Australia live good to the saltwater crocodile. When a saltwater crocodile sees a kangaroo feeding on the edge of the river, the crocodile wants to feed with the kangaroo. So this story here is all about the kookaburra using its laugh to warn the animals to look out. 